Warning, this video may be a black girl's hack video, but this doesn't mean that these hacks apply to black women only. After all, it's not only black women that wear wigs, have curly hair, and etc. Where these hacks apply to you, feel free to make use of them. No racism intended towards this video. It's February, aka Black History Month, and I wanted to film something that would embrace that. I love my subscribers, viewers, and people from a lot of different races out there. At the end of the day, we are all from one race. And also, I have a flu while I'm feeling filming this voice over so excuse my voice please i know i sound like a dying cat i got melanin oh yeah i got melanin we got melanin 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 i got melanin oh yeah i got melanin we got melanin 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 So a problem amongst many dark skinned women is discolored face. So a hack to make your tone all even is to take a red lipstick and just put that on the areas that are darker or that are uneven or are discolored. want to make sure you blend that well and once you're done with that you will notice that all the discolored parts are going to be the exact same color as the rest of your skin tone so everything will be like an even tone or like the same tone Hot damn. So hack number two is for contouring. Sometimes when you are too dark in complexion, it is really difficult to find the correct contour shade. All you gotta do is use a dark purple eyeshadow for this. And as you see, it really, really works in contouring. Of course, it doesn't look that nice on me because I'm not that dark in complexion and I have my own chocolate um, foundation stick that I use for contouring. But if you have a warmer, darker tone, then this is definitely a hack that will work like one for you when you do your contour. I love seeing myself with bright lipsticks and nude lipsticks, but they don't look good, that good on me. So to overcome that, you just want to take a darker lip pencil and place it a bit around your lips, like line it, and that will make the lip, the nude lipstick not that nude and not that light, so it's going to be a bit more fluttering to your skin tone. <laughs> So hack number four has to do with your hair. That is laying down your baby hair. So I'm not good with doing baby hairs on frontals yet, but for this you're just gonna need a toothbrush and an eco styler gel. Obviously not your toothbrush, the one you use to lay your edges basically. So you're just gonna lay your edges as you normally do. I'm not that good in laying edges on frontals yet, but I'm, I'm trying to learn. So don't, don't judge me. Don't text me please guys, don't text me. Don't, don't text me. So then you, after you're done, and laying down your edges and you're happy with your baby hairs you just want to take a scarf and tie it really hard and then you gotta play the waiting game you gotta wait for some time if you have time wait for 30 minutes wait for more but if you do not have time wait for like 10 minutes or five basically the theory is the longer you wait the more your edges are gonna be laying flat the whole day so just wait for some while and then when you're done take it off and your edges are gonna lay flat the whole day. We've all been there where we wake up and then BAM! What is wrong with my hair? What just happened? So this is a hack on how to prolong your curly hair routines. So what you want to do is wet the hair and moisturize it and whatever your curly hair routine is for your wig. And the hack here is to place it into a plastic. You place your wig in a plastic, you let it stay overnight or whatever and it's going to absorb the moisture. And once you take it away, it's going to be moisturized for the next three days. Like I'm not even kidding, once you put it on, you're good, you're gonna have good curly hair for the next three days.
the next hack is to reduce hair shedding whether it's on your real hair or your fake hair I hate it when hair just falls out and you lose a lot of hair so a way to overcome that is to brush your hair the opposite direction rather than from going from top to bottom you want to start coming from the bottom to the top as you see how I'm coming and by the time I'm done coming my hair this is how much hair was shedded out so not a lot of shedding happens if you try this method and you fix the problem of losing too much hair when brushing or combing it so that was it for today's video um sorry for not making a normal outro i love you guys and i'll see you guys on my next one i'm just really sick right now he looks like a dad i'm sorry i would not smash hey hey guys it's alma and today i'm here with adama cooper